Today, I'm going to show you how to use Python to do live data acquisition from a Keyfleet 2700 multimeter. As a demo, I have this thermocouple here, and when I grab the thermocouple with my hand, we see the temperature start to rise on this screen here. So we'll only need a couple of items. Um, the first will be a Keyfleet 2700 multimeter, something that is being measured by the multimeter. Uh, we'll need a USB to GPIB converter cable and a laptop that has Python on it. The next step is to install the drivers for the USB to GPIB interface cable. In this case, I'm using a Keysight 82357B USB to GPIB interface. Now we're going to install PyVisa and PyVisa-Py using the pip install command. Now we're going to restore the Keyfleet to its factory settings. We'll press Shift and then Setup and Restore Factory. Click Enter and this sets it back to default settings. Now we're going to set up the GPIB addresses. So once again, shift, and then hit GPIB. Right now GPIB is set to off, so we'll use this right arrow, and then hit up to turn it on, enter. My GPIB address is set to two, and we'll set that to one. Enter. So now make sure that the GPIB to USB cable is plugged into the Keyfleet and plugged into the computer. And now we're going to go through discovering the device using Python. To discover the device, we're going to import PyVisa. And then we're going to use the print command um, around the pyvisa.resourcemanager.listresources command. And this should return us a list of the resources or instruments that are collect connected to the computer. When I run this program, I get the string GPIB 0 colon colon 1 colon colon INSTR or instrument and this is the address of our Keithley multimeter. For measurements using the front panel we want to make sure that this button is out but for measurements using the cards in the back we have to push the button in. Now we're going to perform a one-shot measurement. The first step is to import PyVisa and then we're going to use pyvisa.resourcemanager.openresource and then the instrument address that we got using the list resources command. We'll set this to a variable that's called multimeter and then next step we will use multimeter.write route close at 101 and what this will do is it will set the Keithley to measure channel 1 of card 1 and I'm using a card that's in the back plane of the Keithley. Next step is multimeter.write sense function temperature. This will just set the key fleet to measure temperature as opposed to something like voltage or current. Um, now we're going to print a command which is um, multimeter.query sense data fresh. This command will collect the most recently measured data. So if you don't have a data acquisition card in the back of the key fleet, we can use the command multimeter.write route open all and this will open all the card channels and then therefore it will also set the Keithley to the front panel inputs. Uh, next we'll print the command multimeter.query sense data fresh and this will collect whatever is on the front panel. Now I'm going to make a measurement from the card in the back of the Keithley using channel 101. So I run this code, and you can see on the Keithley multimeter that the um, front panel has changed to measure channel 101, and now on the computer we see that it is read 2.08 roughly times 10 to the 1, so 20.8 degrees centigrade. Um, and then there's the um, timestamp for the reading, and then the, the reading number. Now I've set up the code to read values from the default front panel inputs of the Keithley multimeter. Now note on the Keithley that there's no, nothing plugged into the inputs on the front, um, so we should read a nonsensical or just a value that's just pure noise. So I'm going to run the code now. And the value I get is 9.9 .9 times 10 to the 37, which is generally the overflow value for a uh, Keithley multimeter. 
I also have the timestamp and the reading number as well. Um, note that on the Keyfleet multimeter, the uh, when I made the measurement, it changed from reading channel 101 to this overflow, which is just the um, current state of the front inputs. Now we're going to bring everything together. The code is separated into four blocks. First, we're going to import PyVisa, time, and matplotlib. Uh, the next block of code initializes the key fleet and creates some useful variables. The next block sets up the plot. And the final block of code creates a while loop that continuously measures and plots the data from the key fleet forever. Now we're going to run the code for real. So I'm going to start the script. We can see that the, the Python script is plotting um, every single second and that the temperature is roughly 21.4 degrees. It's fluctuating a bit. Now I have the thermocouple probe and if I touch the probe by hand on both the Keithley and the plot we can see that the temperature is rising. So that concludes this tutorial for how to do live plotting using using Python and a Keithley 2700.